Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm very glad uh, to have you here today and to host these uh, next, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes, uh, more or less uh, together. And we're going to spend uh, this time, we're going to invest this time uh, talking about uh, new customer generation and some other topics, basically. As, uh, uh, as I used to do, uh, there is always something that, uh, you know, to me, it's so, um, it's so important. It means uh, in, in terms of, uh, in terms of, um, oh, sorry guys, uh, I'm doing some messy up with the technology. It's so important uh, when, whenever we do any class, whenever we invest our time and energy to learn something, you know, the, the fact of being focused on what's gonna happen, it is what is uh, uh, basically raising the capacity of uh, learning. So now what I want to do is uh, basically starting from uh, what I call the learning helps. And uh, in order to make sure that uh, we're gonna do that, oops, sorry, again. <coughs> I'm gonna share the screen. So welcome to everyone, <coughs> wherever you are in the world. I've seen a lot of people from India, but I just want to make sure guys, can you please type on your <coughs> chat, the country where you are, the country where you at? All right, India, can you hear me? Can you hear me guys? Because somebody wrote that you can't, yeah, you said it doesn't work. Okay, let me, let me try to find the solution for the microphone, okay guys, be patient for, for uh, a second. Can you hear me better now? Can you hear me better now guys? Yes, is it good now? There you go. Yes. Okay, cool. Nine. Fantastic. You know, we're, because today I decided to join uh, the Davines village. I actually here, you can see a little piece of the inside garden in, in my back um, because it, it's a beautiful day and we have other meetings. So today I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm located at the village. So uh, again, thank you for for being uh, with us uh, today. Uh, what I want to do is, first of all, is sending, uh, sending to all of you my virtual, uh, actually our virtual hug. Um, and make sure you do have your own uh, uh, drink with you, you know, coffee, tea, tisana, whatever, whatever is good for you. Uh, remember guys that uh, if you if you have a pen and paper just beside of you, uh, you might uh, want to take some uh, some notes, and uh, and this will help you to retain more information for the future. And then uh, uh, again, there is no wrong uh, question, guys. Feel free, feel absolutely free to raise your hand digitally. You know that you have the button to to raise the hand, or simply to. Um, to chat, to, to write a question in the chat. For those of you that might want to reach me out, reach us out, maybe later, because we, you come up with some question or so on, I'm going to type my, um, my um, email here. So in any way you want to be in touch with us, please absolutely feel free, we will be uh, glad okay in the chat there is my email so where you can be in touch with us and guys th this time is for you so we are here just to to share some uh, hopefully relevant content uh, content for our business okay so now the next uh, the next point that I want to talk about is the fact that we are all invited by technology you know we have uh, uh, cell phone smartphone iPad in front of me I have my computer my iPad with the second screen, my, my, uh, my iPhone here. So I'm putting everything in a silent mode, hopefully. And so we will not be distracted. I, I invite you to do the same. And the last thing, no, please, you know, guys, whenever we're going to be in a class, remember, 
in order to raise the level of the uh, of the learning uh, you know the the uh, participation you know you know literally being trying to interact together is the best way and is what is absolutely raising the bar of the learning so that being said i want to start with uh, oh this is uh, okay this, i want to start with the class so basically uh, <clears throat> okay here we go this is something that uh, um, I, I, I want to talk about uh, just for um, as an introduction, okay? Because uh, we will be focused more into the new clients generation, right? Uh, however, which it, which it means two things, you know. If you think about uh, this, is interesting, you know, new client generation. Uh, it is a basically and let me see yeah you can see it uh, very good it is basically means two two things uh it's new generation right new generation or generate new oh sorry i missed it new customer so but the, the word generation it could be uh it could be associated to two things we are thinking to uh implement the number of the client or we are thinking to a new generation of client so these are uh interesting thoughts that we we i want to start with Okay, so now, however, that being said, it is, uh, impo oh, sorry. It is important uh, to, uh, to think about how, generally speaking, how uh, um, a salon uh, affluence, you know, the customer affluence in a salon, usually they do have a kind of weight. Okay, so now, what you see here in the slide, uh, it is a, it is a basically, it is basically uh, what happens in a average situation. Let's say average salon located in a city where there is no tourism. Okay, for example, and actually I'm talking about Italy in this moment, guys. But again, as I did yesterday, uh, I'm using example not because I, not because we need to refer to them, but simply because we want to provide some uh, um, some uh, real situation from where we can have a conversation. Okay. Because probably you are living in a in a place where this is not uh, realistic. But I'm sure that if you go and check your your uh, um, you know monthly affluence, uh, it, it has a, it has something a, a kind of wave which is repetitive in the year. What does it mean? Uh, let, let me read this one uh, which is on the screen now. Okay. So. In Italy, January usually it's a very low, it's a very low uh, affluence because we do have uh, Christmas time in December, which is uh, basically the highest requested period. Okay, um, so basically all the women want to be nice for for Christmas, and uh, but immediately and plus you know at December it it used to be it's a very consumistic. Uh, months you know because uh it's a period of uh, gift you know everyone wants to buy gift for christmas for family parents friends and so on uh and that means that at the end of the month all the money they are gone in january is used to be a very uh down uh, uh, month for hair salon but not only for hair salon for many other industries now um february um february is uh is start it's usually it's a little bit uh of grow i mean the, the 
the period is uh, is uh, going up a little bit, but still uh, quite uh, below the uh, a good, below good results, let's say. Um, and uh, and so to to get uh, uh, let's say to get a, a better affluence of in the salon, you need to wait uh, from uh, March to April, uh, March to May. So this period here is what is basically uh, uh, interesting period for the business in, in our industry. Then what happened that at, the, at the beginning of June, schools are school uh, schools are finishing right and uh, the weather is, summer is is uh, at the door summer is uh, basically starting in june so so basically you have long days of long daylight uh, wonderful weather and people they start to to go to the seaside um, and so what happens that you got immediately a, a downward uh, a downward affluence in the salon. When I'm saying affluence, uh, I'm saying literally the number of people visiting the salon, okay? So this is what is uh, happening usually. Then what happens that because, uh, I mean, the, the June is, uh, you know, the first time that people that can go on the seaside or doing weekends, so they don't care too much to the hair. You know, they, they care about the hair, but they're not too much aware. Uh, what's going to happen then usually, and this is again a uh, kind of uh, typical situation uh, in, in, our, in our country, but again, you don't need to think about our country, you simply need to think about to the idea of this wave and, really, uh, and you need to uh, make a correlation to the, your reality. So what's going to happen is that in July, because people uh, they are preparing to the real uh, vacation, which is August. You know, they want to get the hair done. They want to go in vacation nice and beautiful, right? So, so the, here in July, basically, what we do is a good service, is good amount of services, and, and it's a good month. Then August, again, people, they go in vacation. And so, uh, because they go in vacation, the, the wave of, uh, of the... Uh, of the affluence is, uh, is going down, right? Um, and uh, as you can see, see, this is quite low. And at the end of the month, everyone has uh, the hair ruined somehow because they have been uh, a lot in the swimming pool, in, in, under the sun, or in, on, on, in, on the beach. And so they need to, be, to, they need to recover the hair with the beautiful treatment uh to redo the color made some uh, make some uh, seasonal changing and so on so what happening here is that the the um affluence of the uh, in the salon is uh, definitely raising up and uh, and what and it's still uh, quite um how do you say consistent for october and it's going a bit down in November, a bit down in November. The reason why is because people, they are saving a little bit of money for the rush, the rush, the final rush, which is December, okay? So this is uh, basically something that I wanted to start with because it, uh, it's a good, uh, I would say, a representation of uh, what it could be. Uh, uh, an average wave of uh, affluence in their salon. Again, guys, if you're if you're living on uh, let's say if you're living on the seaside or in a touristic city or um, or in a I would say seasonal city where you have a lot of uh, vacationer and so on, this wave is completely different. However, you still have a wave okay and that is what i would recommend to you to uh think about and to create a, a a drawing of that because it will help you to generate a, a strategy for you know stimulate new customer generation okay 
or generate more customers. That is what uh, is the, the point. Uh, now, before I move on, guys, I need to know from, from you if uh, what I simply described here is it clear. Please, uh, can you, can you uh, help me out with the chat? Thank you, Catherine. Urvi, thank you. Appreciate. Very good. Thank you. Now, what's next? So this is uh, next. Is this? Uh, oops. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Next is this. So when we think about um, action, okay. Action means uh, what can we do? What What are the let me use this word, which I don't like so much. What are the weapons as a business owner, manager, stylist, or whatever? What are our weapons in order to, uh, to attract more clients, to generate more business, and so on? Okay, here written, there are a few of them, like promo, right? I just want to read them just uh, to make sure that we are on the same page, okay? So promo. Promo helps to persuade the clientele to buy predetermined service or products by attracting them with an advantage compared to a greater spending, okay? This is what is the, the, the aim, the objective of a promo. And actually, it, it, it is... Uh, what it should be as an objective of the promo. Then we have the pre-booking. Pre-booking helps to increase the number of the entrances in low business period. Okay, now we have also referral clients campaigns. So which means it helps to gain new clients. And this is what we will talk about later. Then we do have loyalty program, which they helps to keep client loyal to our salon, offering them benefits, discounts by achieving higher spending uh, threshold. Then we have add-on services, which they helps to increase an average of spending per client. Then we do have retail focus, which are mainly something that happens to, uh, to cover in the low season, you know, the drops of incomes, uh, because the, the, there is a less affluence in the uh, salad, of the clients in the salad, okay? So this is what it is uh, uh, when we think uh, about, uh, uh, about uh, business uh, assets or weapons, okay? So this is what uh, we, 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 we would like to, we like to use these, uh, these uh, um, word. Uh, these are all actions that can be done in order to retain clients, to acquire new clients, to hold loyal clients, to, you know, increase the spending and so on. And uh, all these actions, they should be smart, means uh, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based, okay? So time measurable. Okay, so now, what's next here? Basically, uh, if we think about the typology of the clients we have, okay? We, and we all have these types, okay? It's not, uh, this is something that is, ha happens uh, everywhere in the world. So basically, uh, what we do have is a type of clients. Then we do have behaves of clients. And, uh, and then we have action that can be done, okay? Uh, but also we need to understand which are the uh, 
priorities. Okay, we, we, we can have actions, different type, but we probably need to understand what is uh, probably priority one, priority two, and so on. Um, also, you know, today, uh, more than ever, we have so many, many uh, opportunity in terms of media. You know, I mean, if we go back for those of you who are, you know, uh, a little bit more aged like me, uh, you know, when, when I started to do hair, um, there was not that much possible opportunity to be in touch with the people. Today, we do have tons of um, uh, apps, uh, computers, uh, systems, uh, which uh, somehow they are absolutely um, helping for being in touch and, and generating a lot of business. Last and not least, of course, we, we might, uh, let's see, time-wise, we might see some examples. I have to say that uh, we probably can't cover everything. Uh, it, it, I mean, again, today, I, I, at least I want to give you a, a tip. You know, I want, really want to give you some, uh, some uh, point that we can then uh, uh, extend and, and uh, explain, or, or let's say, we can go in depth in, in the future classes too. Um, but anyway, I'm sure you're, you're gonna appreciate what we're gonna share here. Now, um, talking about the clients, as I was saying, we do have basically the existing clients, right? We, 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 in our salon, we do have clients. Uh, the, the, in between these uh, clients that we do have, they might be some that we call abandonist. Uh, these, are, these are the clients, for example, which uh, I, I don't know if it never happened to you, but I, I can tell you it happens to me when I mean, uh, for, so far, uh, just the FYI guys, I don't know how much do you know about my story, you know, by my background, but I've been salon owner for many, many years. I did sold my last salon four years ago, just to be fully dedicated to, to my actual business, which is uh, teaching and sharing, you know, educating. Uh, but I did own the salon for really over 20 years. Um, and I remember that uh, it happens to me more than one time that maybe I was walking on the street or was, you know, going to the supermarket and there was a meeting, you know, or coming across somebody that I, that I recognize as a client with the hair done, but the hair weren't done by me. So it means that somebody else did it, right? And uh, you, I mean, what, I mean, in our mind, as a, as a, you know, space often happen as a manager, as an owner, you know, we do think that we do have everything under control, but in the reality, we don't, right? Uh, in our in our uh, salons, there are hundreds or thousands of uh, clients, you know, people that uh, there are coming in and we can't uh, get everybody under control. So sooner or later, for some reason, which not always are, uh, are connected to something that we made wrong, some people, they simply leave us and they go to, to uh, join other salon. And so this is uh, something that happened to me, I just wanted to share. Because I mean, this is what I called the abandonment. So the, the lady that I met at the supermarket that I was giving you an example, that was an abandonment, okay? So that being said, um, it's not everything here because we do have also new clients. You know, we do have new clients coming at the door. I don't know, maybe every day, maybe every week or whatever. So um, then we, we do have, uh, um, we do have a loyal client in between the existing client. We can probably split the 
the clients in different levels, right? There are the loyal ones, means the one they always come, they, they used to book in advance and so on. Uh, then also depends on the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the, the habits of the market. Then we do have the extender. Um, extender, which are people that might um, maybe for, for not specific reason, but they are not coming so often as they were doing before. I have to say that the, this uh, uh, pandemic, um, you know, the COVID-19, uh, what uh, colleagues they are telling me, um, I was speaking with some of them also today at lunchtime. Uh, for example, here they got in an immediate rush. I mean, as soon uh, immediate after the reopening, the salon were so busy, literally up to here, working, you know, extending the the numbers of uh, hours and uh, and. Um, also opening on Sunday, opening on Monday. So literally they were seven to seven uh, long days and, and they, they really got a, a lot of work. Uh, what happened after, um, let's say after three weeks, three, four weeks, I mean, basically f since last week, that these uh, big, 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 big uh, request is uh, slowing down. Um, and uh, we are probably expecting to get some extender. Here's the point, guys. This uh, situation, this economical situation is also affecting uh, the, the wallet, right, of the people. So uh, a lot of people still not working. A lot of people um, are in layoff. Uh, so we, we probably need to think about that we're going to have maybe more clients that they are stretching the time in between one visit and another one. And in between these uh, stretch, there are still some, they're really lawyers, simply they come a bit less to us or other which are maybe doing some home care self uh, treatment, you know, maybe they do, they buy some products, they buy some uh, box color and they do the color by themselves. Uh, so this is a, is a something that we need to be aware, and um, and then of course uh, we not only to be aware, but we we might have uh, some strategy to think about it and what to do with this situation. Okay, now it's not done. We do have also. Uh, in the new clients, uh, uh, in the new clients package, you say we, we can have two different type of clients, and this is our topic of today, basically, you know. Or we do have uh, simply people they they pass through the window and they enter in our salon, and uh, and so they. Um, they enter in our salon and they want to uh, have services, okay? Now, I seen uh, Rehan Sheikh, Sheikh that raised the hand. Is there any question? I don't know if I pronounce your name properly. I, I apologize in advance. Okay, then don't worry, don't worry, no problem. It's just I want to make sure that we if you raise the hand, to me, you're keeping attention and uh, I, will, uh, I will be glad to, to help you out, okay? Um, okay, so now, so far, guys, uh, just give me a shout in the chat or you, 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 if you want, you can even talk, guys. You just tell me, I will allow you to talk. So is it clear these uh, client typology breakdown? Yes? All right. Thank you. Because, you know, um, just uh, I, I want to tease you a little bit. We are, uh, we are preparing uh, a beautiful uh, 
um, beautiful package of business classes where we will go even much more in deeper. But of course, they're not going to be, you know, 45, 50 minutes. They're going to be much longer classes, pre, pre uh, booked and so on, where we definitely will share uh, more detailed and more tools. So I, I want to make sure that he, what, what I'm trying to do in a short period of time is anyway relevant and clear for you guys, okay? So help me out. I, I, I'm very open to any criticisms because we, we, we learn also from that, okay? Uh, anyway, let's go, let's go forward. So basically what we got from here, it's four major, four major clients, uh, client typologies, right, or categories. Um, what you can see here in this chart, it is, uh, um, oh, sorry, uh, I apologize. It is a, a list of media that uh, I would say the major media, they are not all listed here, guys. We do have even more opportunity than this. However, you know, uh, I mean, uh, billboard are still, uh, especially in big cities and so on. Uh, email is still a valuable media to get in touch with the clients. Facebook is phenomenal, phenomenal uh, media today. Uh, groups in, in Facebook too. Uh, flyers, it depends uh, what you do and to communicate what. Instagram, it became for our, for this industry phenomenal. I would say probably even more than even more than Facebook. Um, um, I would say paper mail in some uh, in certain type of communication is uh, is um, still I would say probably my opinion is still one of the most personal way to connect with the clients. Uh, messengers quite fast uh, partnership with other um, with other uh, stores or you know or or activities uh, phone call website and um, whatsapp which is also whatsapp business which is even more professional these are some of the major media that we can use today to be connected with the with the clients now it, it, because we, we were thinking, you know, as, as at, the, at the beginning, we were thinking, okay, what, what we do, and uh, we need to also prioritize, uh, prioritize our, our activities, right? Because we can't, we can't do everything we want. We, we probably need to decide uh, with, with specific uh, um, goal, with specific uh, strategy, what is the most effective for reaching our goal. As we said before, on the left here, we, we do have the categories of the clients, right? We have the loyal one, the one she's in love with us. We do have the stretcher, the one she's basically elongating the time in between one visit and another one. We have the one uh, that she was a client, or we think she's a client. Uh, but she's now leaving to go in another salon or we have the new clients those are the major uh type client typology or categories okay now um i would like to uh i would like today uh to be more um focus on the, on this one you know on the on the new clients And, uh, and, uh, and talk about, okay, how can we generate, how can we get new clients? Is there, is there, uh, uh, okay, let's do, let's do, uh, uh, not a game, but simply, uh, I, 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 I put a, uh, a question on the table and uh, I, I will, uh, I will wait uh, for some, you know, ideas or answer from you guys. What, huh? what would you do to get new clients? 
and you can uh, answer in the chat or if you raise their hands, I can even open your microphone. You can talk. What are your ideas? To conquest more clients. Okay. Advertise the Instagram post promotions. Okay. Very good. Being more active on social media. Very good. Mm -hmm. Commendable work will speak for itself. Absolutely. Yes. Gift cards. Very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, guys, uh, um, oh, using my influence to post and mention, so it's not coming directly from me. Uh, yes, uh, referral program, very good. Yeah, very, very good. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lot of, uh, actually, really a lot of um, good, uh, good point here. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use the, the flip chart here in the back, okay? Discounts for family and friends, very good, thank you. So I have to say that you guys are quite, uh, really quite good. Um, you almost don't need me, <laughs> I would say. But however, what it is important um, when we think about when we think about, uh, uh, especially generating new new client is this um, So basically, this is your chair. Can you see it? Or it's too far? Ah, wait, wait. I'm gonna stop to share the screen so you probably can see better, guys. Just give me a second. All right. Okay, so now you probably can see better. This is your chair, okay? So basically, that is the area where you guys uh, uh, live, right? This is a very logical, this is a very logical, uh, I would say, it's a simple, logical, I would say procedure. Uh, I, but it's not the right point. Okay, so basically, this is what, this is your 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 stage, your salon. Okay, when you think about your salon, you need to think that you do have uh, uh, you're lucky because in your salon, in your salon, you do have. Uh, here, you do have your clients, right? So basically, to be connected with them 
it doesn't cost anything to you. And, uh, okay. and uh, if you think about how many, how many clients you do have in, in your portfolio of, uh, of the salad, if you think about that, you probably have thousands. So every person, every day, is going to be in touch with somebody else, which probably is not your client. So the first action, first action to do should always be directed to existing clients. And remember, with these, uh, with, when we think about these clients, we need to remember that we have two types of, in between the clients, we have two types of situation. Actually, you have three. You have the loyal. You have the extender. And then you have Let me see if somebody is remembering. Let me see if somebody is uh, suggesting me the word on the chat. I'm waiting, guys. The new, uh, yeah, new we want, but also the other one, the other one. Ah, come on. <laughs> Thank you, the new, new client. Uh, I would say probably the abandon is very good. Thank you so much, Nazafarin. Okay, so the abandons. Okay, so listen, guys. I was reading a uh, um, time ago a marketing book, which is really interesting, and I might uh, remember the name, I might try to put in the chat later. Um, which is what saying, you know, when you are thinking of that you're losing a client, remember, it doesn't mean that you're, you already lost it, okay? There are always a good action to be done in order to bring it back. And if you, and you need to think about that uh, to gain one new client, to, uh, let's say to retain an abandonment, or to gain a new one in terms of half forward energy, money invested, it's three times bigger this than this. So, for example, to gain a new client, you need to put a lot of effort you know, on, on social, on uh, on advertise, on promotion, and so on, right? To, to get a, to maybe, I'm saying maybe, retain an abandonist. It's one third of the effort. The only point is that you need to have a system that is tracking your clientele and, and is checking who is not coming in for, since a while. That is the point. This is another point, so we need to have a, uh, uh, I would say uh, a computer, you know, a, a program, which is a managing program, with, which is helping us to track, uh, you know, the, the history of our clients. But here is an interesting point, because sometimes we're, we're really thinking to, to generate new clients, but we, also, we should probably be more focused on try to lose less clients. And no matter what, guys, no matter what, even though your, your business is growing, you have a big salon, big chain, no matter what, we are always, there is always a turnover of the client. The less you lose and the more you gain. The, the, when you lose somebody, the opinion that is going to spread outside is affecting so many other people in a negative way. Okay, so uh, 
so basically what uh, what you the, the first thing is to try to keep this and uh, and use the the clients that you already have in the salon to generate with the referral with referral um, um, uh, campaigns sorry <laughs> sometimes my brain is smoking to generate with referral campaigns uh, a bit of a new uh, client generation okay now I'm going to share the screen again I'm going to share the screen again and um, Wait, give me a second that I take the, the right screen. And this is uh, it. Okay, share, and we go back to the, there we go. So basically here, basically here, sorry, there's a, um, where is it, where is it? Gloria, Refer Extender, and then the list. Okay, so how can we, I was saying, how can we get uh, new clients? You know, how can we get new clients? First of all, as I was saying, uh, there are, I mean, we need to invite every single client to participate with us in, uh, in our business. Um, I don't know, guys, I, I, I've been consulting many salon, I've been visiting many salon in my life, and uh, I always found uh, people quite shy in asking to the existing client. I mean, I'm sure you are aware that you can create a you know, card when you, where, that says, okay, bring me a friend, I will give you something, I will give you him something else. And that's and that's super easy, super super easy. However, the power, the power. I mean, I would say that it's only using a very small piece of uh, a very small piece of uh, potential of this uh, campaign. One of the most, one of the most incredible power that human has is the voice is the is the heart and you know uh, and I did try that personally in another manner you know literally in another manner of course I got printed my card saying okay bring me a friend I will I will uh, uh, recognize you you know I don't know a discount or a or a retail products. This is something that you definitely can uh, create uh, your own with your own uh, numbers and uh, creativity. But one of the things uh, that I found the most uh, powerful, it was this one that I'm going to try to uh, simulate, which is basically saying, Okay, let's pretend you have your client here, okay? If you have your client here, you simply ask, okay, uh, first of all, thank you for being with us again at the end of the service, right? Thank you for being as with us. Uh, thank you for being with us uh, again. Uh, how did it go today? Uh, how do you feel with your, with your look? How do you feel with your hair, with your color and so on? Good, you know, let's pretend that the client, she's happy. Now, um, one of the questions I used to ask was, how long are, are you, uh, you know, frequenting us as a, as a uh, stylist, as a salon, you know? I don't know, it doesn't matter. So we are, we are really glad that you are um, to inaugurate you as uh, our guest, as our uh, uh, client. And we are very proud and, uh, and satisfied of our clientele. And we're, and we're, as you can see, we are growing in our business, but, but we are still, you know, in a process of growth. We, we, we want to do more. We want to be able to, uh, to spread more our, our services and, uh, you know, 
So we will be very, very glad if you would be uh, one of our, um, you know, uh, one of our, I would say, ambassadors outside. Uh, if you are happy with our services, if you think that uh, it's uh, worth to come with us, to come in our salon to get the hair done, I would ask you help in, 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 in terms of, I will give you this uh, card. And uh, with this card, you're gonna get this. And every time you, you will, uh, a friend of you will uh, um, come into the salon. So basically, what I did found when I started to do this, it's that it's not a, it's not a, it's not a business card that you are giving, but this is a piece of art that you are sharing with the clients very honestly, and you're really asking, really asking help. You know, guys, there is, a, there is a, an incredible power in this world, incredible power, which are, which are, I would say the most incredible, I mean, when you ask for help, people, they are there to help you. But I'm not asking for help just to say, I don't want to, I want to get rich. No, it's not that you want to get rich. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that I, I'm very happy about the business I was going, but we're, I'm still in the process of learning and growing, and I would love to have your help. Would you be one of the ambassadors? So, and then you, you, at this point, you can give it the card. And so I can promise you that if you do a referral campaign to generate new clients, which is the topic of today, uh, you probably will, and even though you have done already this campaign in the past, but if you, if you, if you never, in case you never really spoke with the client in this manner, I can promise you that you will see incredible different numbers uh, in terms of new clients coming. Because as soon you start to really ask with the, with the open, open heart, uh, it's not a cold, uh, a cold piece of paper where it's written, uh, oh, you got that and you, you know, your friend's going to get that. This is my, I would say this is my more, I would say this is my, for today, this is the, the, the most, relevant moment that I want to share. And I'm telling you that is working because I tried and is incredibly raising the, the involvement of the client because you're really touching the client with the heart. Um, and so going back to this point here, we, where I, I, I'm gonna stop to share the screen again, uh, remember, the first uh, ring is your clients that you have in your salon, which they might be abandonist or, or they might be your lawyer, okay? To get new clients, you need first to use your client. First, use your client, okay? If your clients, they bring you some new clients, okay? All right, now it's the moment of something different because then you're gonna get something like that, okay? You're gonna get friends. So clients, friends. There you go. Now, client friends, okay? They might be, they might have some uh, um, other activities like, uh, I don't know, gym, like uh, shopping store, you know, uh, clothing store, uh, eyeglasses store, shoes store, uh, I don't know, what, whatever is the business we are working, right? Now, when you're gonna get served these guys here, then, okay, then now is the time to extend again. So you basically go with the logical uh, progression, okay? It doesn't make sense when we, are, when we are in a salon and we are seeking for new client guys and generate some more affluence. It doesn't make sense to start from here and going to seek outside here. 
it's too far. Okay, it's too far, and which means too much effort and a lot, a lot of investment. It doesn't, I mean, it's not that it doesn't work, but the, the cost of the energy and the money to invest to reach them out there is much higher than going step by step further from, from the, further out from the, from our chair to our clients, to the client's friends, to the friends that they have some activities outside and you can create some partnership and so on. So, I, I mean, this is a, it's really a logical path. I mean, um, it, in business, it, 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 there is not right and wrong. I mean, it, it, it is not wrong to go here. Okay, guys, it's simply that is taking a lot of effort. I mean, but if you have the energy for doing, do it. However, you might get easier and faster uh, results if you go following a path. Does make sense, guys? Does make sense what I just shared with you guys? Yeah, all right. So, guys, I mean, it's incredible. We started, it's an hour is already gone, really already gone. And I have to, um, unfortunately, I have to uh, leave you. And, uh, but I would love to, you know, actually, what I would love, guys, is really being in a class physical class with all of you and having fun and learning and game if you know uh, doing some game and, and and you know game dedicated to learn of course um so i, I really hope that that is going to happen very very soon however um i have to say first of all uh, again i with the with the hope that you enjoyed or i mean the, the in between what I shared today, there was something that at least it makes you think about it. Um, I want to say absolutely a wonderful thank you so much for being with, uh, with us today. Um, I just want to remind to you that uh, next week we're going to, uh, we're going to have another, another topic. So I think it's going to be next uh, Wednesday. Um, and so again, uh, I can't wait. Hope to see it. Hope to see you connected next week. On behalf of the whole the Davines team, uh, once again, thank you so much. We love you. Uh, enjoy the rest of the, I guess, evening for those of you who are on the east and uh, morning or afternoon in the west or central European country. Thank you, thank you so much. Big hug, ciao.